Hi everyone, welcome to Cloud Dolls. For this video, I get my inspiration in cyber steampunk. Steampunk fashion is a subgenre of steampunk movement in science fiction. It's a mixture of the Victorian era's romantic view of science and literature and elements from the Industrial Revolution in Europe. Steampunk fashion consists of clothing, hair styling, jewelry, body modification and makeup. I'm gonna use a hat of Rainbow Idol. I love the hair, the yellow, it's so soft. So I'm gonna keep it and for the body, of course. I had to choose Rebecca Steam from Monster High. First, because of the design that she have in the body of Steampunk and then because the color matches really well with the face of the Rainbow Idol. I'm gonna start with the body and as usual, I'm gonna sand it and I will clean it with nail polish without acetone because acetone melts the plastic. After that, I'm gonna give her a layer of Mr. Super Clear using my mask, let it dry for 30 minutes, and now with my acryl neon paint, I'm gonna paint her body with all the details and lines that he have. I'm gonna use this tube of nest and with my heat gun I'm gonna attach it to the knee. With this elastic neon pink color fabric I'm gonna make her top. I have this top with a neon color. I think it matches really good with the team. I'm going to insert this color tube to be able to close it in the back side. I also attach a little bit of orange neon plastic to the open hole from the top. I'm gonna use this really 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 cute and soft and colorful fabric to make the boots and I printed this base of shoes in my 3d printer I sew him to the leg until here I turn it around and I glue it directly to the base of the shoe that I printed. I'm gonna use this neon yellow cord to give it the details and look what I found. I found this amazing colorful yarn and I have an idea. Inspired in the Decoder Key street fashion. I'm gonna give a more color to the boots. With the help of a needle, I insert it in the fabric and then I close it. In this way, I give it different touch of colors to the boots. After I'm done, I brush it with my teeth brush and I trim the yarn. Now it's time to give her panties. Doll customizing can be really awkward. With this amazing pink tool with brilliance, I'm gonna make a little skirt for her. Then I'm gonna gather in the top. With this vinyl, I'm gonna build the waist of the skirt. I'm gonna glue it directly to the tool. With the gold wire, I make a belt buckle. With this fake leather blue, with the glitters, I make the rim. I 
I close the skirt with some velcro and I give it the lossy taste with this fake letter in color purple and she looks adorable now it's time for the face. As usual, I'm gonna take the factory makeup out with 100% acetone. With my Mr. Super Clear and my mask, I give it three layers and let it dry between the layers for 30 minutes. And with my watercolor pencils, I start sketching. I just let my imagination go. I start with a light pencil, yellow one. This one is super soft uh, Caran Dash. This doll is going to be available on my Etsy shop. You can find the link in the description box below. I want to give her a makeup with a mix of steampunk and cyber. With my neon colors, my little tiny brush, it's time to paint it, with a lot of patience. But you know, it's the first time I make a face like this, entirely painting, I find it really relaxing. With black acryl, I give her a sharp eyeliner. I'm gonna make her eyes for the first time. I'm gonna use this fake letter in blue color. I'm gonna draw the two circles. Then I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna drop a little bit of UV resin and I'm gonna decorate it with some uh, sequences, uh, glitters, stars, until I'm satisfied. And then I cut it in my UV lamp for 90 seconds. In the silicone mold, I put a little bit of blue glitters, a drop of UV resin, and then the blue Irish that I made it for her and let it cure. And I mix white acryl with the UV resin and I complete the rest of the eyes. I wish me luck. Yes, it's cured. It's time to pop out. I love them. It was the first time. I am really sure that will not be the last one. I put them outside of the camera because I still think that it's really <laughs> creepy to put an eyes on the doll. I'm gonna put the eyelashes now because I cannot wait. I'm gonna use a human fake eyelash using my tacky glue. I attach them to the eye. With my hair dryer, I make the neck hole soft so that I'll be able to attach the body to the head. And she looks so cute. I found this telephone from Winx. I'm gonna glue this flower in top of it to hide the symbol of Winx. With some purple fake letter, I'm gonna put it on her arm. I also give her these earrings, they're really cute. And it's time for the hair. With the same yarn, I'm gonna attach him to the hair and give it a pop of color. I 
I trim the end of it. Oops, I have to buy another one. And now I'm gonna give her the final touch of the cyber steampunk. After the hair is colorful, I'm gonna attach also this tube. I cut them and then in this ribbon I glue them different kinds and colors with hot glue. I roll it everything together like this and then I pop it in in the middle of her hair and she looks so cute and now I finish it with this little cute heart now it's time for the goggles I'm gonna use the same silicone mold I drop a little bit of green glitters this looks like magic <laughs> A drop of UV resin, I mix it all together and with my UV lamp I cure it for 90 seconds and I pop them up and they look really cool look at this I'm making a lot of new things with this doll but I'm loving it I'm gonna use the same letter with glitters in blue color to make the googles I sketch them in the back side of the letter And then I fold it in half and cut it to get a symmetric shape. I don't know if I put it like this or the other side. I'm gonna finish them with the same uh, letter like this I think I'm gonna make it this size. I think it's better. First, I'm gonna use the same vinyl that I used for the skirts to give a pop of color. I glue them in the middle. And then with a drop of UV resin, I attach the slash glass of the googles and because I want them to be transparent I also printed a friend for her a little robot in my 3d printer Then I finish everything with my glossy varnish. Are you ready to see her? I think you're gonna love her. I want to say thanks to everyone that is helping me in this journey. It's being really slow. 
but I'm getting there. Don't forget to subscribe my channel, put a like on it, leave a comment, I read all of your comments, they are really important for me, it's the only way that I can get some help. Have fun and I'll see you in my next video, bye!